Hey guys, what's up? Bye, Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and today we're talking about the multi mortar, which is coming to Clash of Clans, the next geared up defense. We have the double cannon, we have whatever that little archer tower thing is called that shoots faster, and now we have the mortar that shoots multiple shells, kind of like the mortar in the builder village, but now it's coming as a geared up option to the main village. So we're gonna take a look at some gameplay, talk about how you're gonna want to use it. It's for Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 11. Sorry, Town Hall 9s, you won't have the geared up mortar, but let's go ahead and take a look at some actual gameplay and you guys can get an idea of if it's something you want to use because we have some good insights to show in this video. Let's get right into it though. This is the developer build. Um, compare it to the regular mortar, dropping witches on these collectors on either side, you'll notice it shoots three of the fireballs or whatever instead of one. However, the total damage appears to be the same. And that's a very important thing to point out is that for both mortars, it's the exact same effect. Um, it It's three fireballs, but the damage is split up among those three, making it pretty much the exact same in that scenario. Uh, once again, we'll do this with Barbarians, and you'll see that it's the same thing. Now, the fact that each individual um, cannonball, it knocks the Barbarian back. So some troops have the knockback. So it can actually knock troops out of range of the next two cannonballs once they land. So the first one can actually almost uh, help the troop because it won't get hit by the full damage of what would otherwise be um, a regular mortar. So... One more time, we'll do this simple scenario with bowlers, and um, you can see, uh, as we've seen before, the damage is looks like it's going to be the same. Now, nothing's set in stone until it's actually in the village in Clash of Clans, but um, from what we can see, it's not going to be more powerful than the regular mortar. Um, a few things to point out, however, is you'll notice this in a few um, a few more attacks I'm going to show the the multi-mortar can adjust its aim. Not all three cannonballs get shot. I don't know if cannonball is the right word. Mortar shells is a better way to say it. Not all three mortar shells get shot in the same place. If the target's moving, it can follow a target. So that way, um, troops can't really run away from it. It's much more difficult because it can adjust its aim as the troop moves. Now let's pair it up with a wizard tower against these witches and bowlers because as I've talked about, um, the the main thing I thought it might be used for is to defend against uh, witch bowler attacks, uh, especially those going around the outside of the base trying to take out the exterior defenses while there's a bowler kill squad in the middle. Something very important to point out as well, a single mortar shell does not kill skeletons. Um, when you divide the damage by three of the mortar uh, for each of those shots, a single shot will not take out a full health skeleton and it can push them out of way, like I said, for the remaining mortar shots. You might have seen um, how some of those skeletons were at like a quarter health. That's because the first mortar shell pushed them away from the remaining mortar shells, allowing them to keep going, which basically um, means they didn't take any damage because pretty much anything can one shot a skeleton so just lowering it in health really does nothing um, making this uh, in a sense less effective than the regular mortar now let's throw some healers on these uh, bowlers and witches and let them go around the outside this time with a few more defenses see how they stack up uh, the multi mortar there you can see adjusting the aim a little bit as the troops move but really is negligible, pretty much like a regular mortar is. And right now we're seeing regular mortars being used mainly for screwing up pathing of balloons, hogs, making it difficult to target defenses inside the base. You throw them on the outside. It also makes golems walk um, to locations you want them to go to. So we're seeing it used more uh, to mess up troop pathing than to actually do damage um, at pretty much Town Hall 9, Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11. Um, a lot of people putting mortars outside their base for good reason. The mortar doesn't do a whole lot of damage, um, not really an effective defense, and it looks like the multi-mortar is a bit of a bust in the sense that I was hoping it would do more damage. I was hoping each mortar shell would do the same amount of damage as the single mortar shell that the regular one fires, 
Let's take a look at one final thing here, um, just to emphasize against these skeletons, it only does limited damage, not enough to actually kill a full health skeleton. So you can kind of see them um, getting knocked around by the, uh, the multi-mortar and they're actually gonna take out quite a few of these buildings before we end the battle here. One of them actually runs up to the mortar itself. It's almost less effective than the regular mortar. I don't see a reason why um, you would use it. I guess it's kind of cool that the, uh, the targeting can follow a troop as it moves, but even with that feature, I don't think that's gonna make a huge difference. Not that the mortar makes a difference anyway in attacks, but I think the benefit of using a single mortar is it can take out big groups of skeletons. And you'll see here this exact same skeleton spell, exact same spot, uh, not going to do as much against the regular mortar. So anyway, in conclusion, guys, I was a little disappointed to see that it looks like it's not going to do a whole lot of damage, the same amount of damage total as the regular mortar. Um, I'd like to see it changed because I think it should be a no-brainer as far as gearing up. I think it would be cool to have one of the mortars do triple the damage of the others and really make it something that you can consider putting in your base like an actual defense because the mortar um, unfortunately hasn't been treated that way. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bisectatron out.